Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Forest here on FIFA 22. We are slap bang, couldn't get any more mid-table so far this season, but the form has turned uh, positively upwards and we're rising up the table. We've 12th placed Leeds to start today. We also play 15th place Brighton, although we'll be simming that one, and I think it's Watford and indeed Norwich as well. So some strong games against some tough opposition. Leeds in 12th, Watford in 11th. Brighton 15th will see, but obviously Norwich have had a cracking start to the season, so they deserve to be played as well. But we'll start at home against Leeds. Uh, you can see from the calendar what our recent form is like. A 1-1 draw against United, a 1-0 win against Spurs, and a 4-1 against Aston Villa, where Tammy Abraham scored a perfect hat-trick. So very much looking to continue our recent league form. Annoyed with the defeat to Norwich in the Cup, but that was just a sim, so uh, we will get over that one. Hopefully we can get some payback in the played game against Norwich. Of course, as ever, do make sure you drop the video a like to ensure that you uh, are helping push the content to new people and improving the channel. And make sure you subscribe for more. There may be some FIFA 23 on the way soon. I shall say no more. Right. Let's start with Leeds at home. So then, Leeds bring with them Melier in goal, a keeper we thought about signing but didn't in the end. Cody Drama at right back. Our former captain, Joe Worrell, at centre back alongside Liam Cooper and Junior Furpo. Mark Rocker and Valentin Rongier at CDM with still Rafinha on the right, Held Costa on the left, Brendan Aronson at Cam, and Joe Gelhart up top. Left the club, got some first team football, grew, and they brought him back again. We've done that with a handful of players in a handful of saves over the history of uh, everything we've done here on the YouTube channel, haven't we? And it's nice to see some other teams doing something similar, allowing the player to go, get the first team football that they crave, that they need for their development. And whilst obviously that isn't what happens in game, you can imagine, and kind of fictitiously envisage there being a potential future buyback clause, which is evidently... What we can envisage Leeds have done with Gelhart. I need to accelerate away here just so I can get the space to then clear it. Now, Tammy should win this, actually. And Leeds have pushed a lot of bodies forward. Very early doors. Callum hudson is in behind here. Tuck this back. Oh, I've ruined it. Oh, I've ruined it. Lovely ball into Brendan Aronson. Out wide here to Cody Drama. Forward from right back. Player we've used in a save this year. I think it was Chesnoid FC we had Cody Drama, wasn't it? It might even have been Cambridge United. Rafinha into the middle. Emi Martinez out to meet it quickly. Also quick with his distribution. It just reaches Koke. I'll lift this to ensure it reaches Jeremy Pino. And Koke's there again. Well, it's gone to Tammy, but we have options around. Jacob Ramsey is one of them. Out wide here is Jeremy Pino. And we can tuck this back. Ah, no. I thought it was going to... Go on. I thought it was going to Koke, and I played the pass to try and get it to Tammy. But it went to Tammy, and then he played the pass that I didn't want him to do. Tammy wins that header well, though. Jeremy Pino looking for the run of Koke, but not finding him. Joe Worrell had a bit of a dodgy game last time he played Leeds, but he started well here on this occasion. Gelhart. Well in, Mark Gahey. Rate that very much indeed. Excellent interception. We'll drill this looking for Callum hudson Adoy. He's had more space there, and I thought he was going to. Tammy's got some as well. And on that left foot, he draws a very good save. And the French goalkeeper, Melier, rising up to his right-hand side to get a strong arm to it. Tammy, not incredible on his left, but certainly good enough to warrant taking a shot like that and being half confident that he might either score or force a corner or a rebound or something. Very, very pleased with the way that Tammy started life here at Nottingham Forest. We hope that he doesn't fall off the same way that Taiwo did and the same way that Gonzalo Ramos did. Both Taiwo and Ramos started their Forest careers on fire and both saw their form fall away. Fingers crossed Tammy is going to be with us for a long time and performing for a long time. Looking inside, helping it on its way. That's what I wanted. That's what I tried to do, but I didn't get the extra pass. I don't know whether I actually pressed the button or not. Maybe I missed it on my controller, but Tammy would have been in there. And that is definitely a glorious opportunity wasted with a missed button press from me. We're cutting leads apart at will, though, at the back. They're not defending very well. They've just gotten lucky so far, but they haven't gone 1-0 down. They might see their luck take a further turn in the positive and end up taking a, an undeserved 1-0 lead soon. But Thomas Partey is going to intercept that and we'll work it around. And we'll go for a counter. We'll look for Tammy through that gap. He'll take his touch. Then look to ah, lift it for Callum hudson Adoy. Not to be done. Just under 10 minutes to go till half-time. It's still 0-0 here. Might not be for much longer, though. It's still 0-0 here. 
and we look the more likely side of scoring. But Leeds trying to do something from the set piece. Rafinha with the delivery. It's not bad, you know. Wouldn't let me change to the man that was underneath it. But thankfully, Liam Cooper missed anyway. Up we go, please, Tammy. He's won that well. But Helda Costa gets to the loose ball. Brendan Aronson gets to that first ahead of Thomas Partey. There might yet be something happening at the end of this first half. With regards to the scoreline, score line, Rongier, 1-2 of Brendan Aronson. Gelhart, that's nicely done. Cross here to Cody Drama. He's got to be offside there, Rafinha, surely. How is he not offside? That's got to be one of the strangest... Oh, no, look at this. The number 16 over there. He's playing him on. Playing him on. But what a save by Emi Martinez. Last season, against Unai Simon, that would have gone in. He might not be as high rated as the Spaniard, but the Argentine is a genuine improvement on what we had last year. And we've needed it there, otherwise we'd have been behind. But it will be nil-nil at the half for the Reds against the Whites, or will it? No, nope, it won't. 1-0 leads, Rafinha. Hmm. Oh, Rafinha somehow keeps that in, despite almost ballsing it up. Mark Rocker. Give me number eight. Bloody hell. Mark Rocker again. Out wide to Rafinha. He's going to want to come inside on his left. I've got to deny him the chance. How's your luck? Block the first shot. Keeper commits to the dive. Falls straight back to the striker. He buries it. 2-0 leads. I was shepherding Rafinha as best as I could. And oh, that's just one of them, isn't it? That's just one of them. A goal... Past the end of first half stoppage time after a failed corner that should have had the final whistle go as soon as it left the box, but didn't. And now, a cheeky rebound. And Jeremy Pino's carrying an injury. Well, this is turning into a wonderful game for us, isn't it? We'll deliver that into the middle. No, we won't. Joe Worrell will be in the way. And I'll have to play, take Jeremy Pino off here to try and ensure we don't have him injured for too long. Popescu gets the chance. hudson Adoy. Short to Tariq Lamptey. hudson Adoy still there. And there is Koke. There's Jacob Ramsey. There is a goal back. We're not out of it yet, lads. There's still half an hour left to go. I'll admit, I was a little bit worried when he started to take it with his left. I thought, he's going to spoon this or he's going to kick it straight at the keeper. But thankfully, he did bury it into the top corner. We are back in the game. Popescu coming on now for the injured Jeremy Pino. We pray that he's not out for too long. But we do have the squad depth now and quality in depth to... Replace him for however long he is out for. Hopefully it's not more than a few days. But he's obviously going to have to have some sort of missed period. No more than a few weeks at most, you hope. Hopefully it's not that three-month broken toe we've had a couple of times in the uh, recent season or so. Rongier in there to Rocker to Gelhart, who's turned well and buries it. Leeds mean business today, don't they? They've turned up at the city ground. They've come down the M1 and they're giving us a battering. Mikolenko down the line. Finds Popescu. He was calling for it there. Tammy. And he's calling for it again. And we'll look for him. Oh, but he can't challenge William Cooper. It was headed straight towards him. It was a really good cross, actually, from the defender. We'll look for Tammy here. And through there, Jacob Ramsey's in again. Jacob Ramsey buries it. And we're still not out of this game yet. Oh, should be 2-2. They didn't deserve their second goal at all. That was pure fluke. And to be fair, their first, the whistle should have gone as well. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm winning this 2-1 now. Aronson given away. Okay. Oh, play on. Unless you're he's sending him off anyway. I say, unless you're sending him off, you better play on. But it is a red card for Leeds with five minutes to go. I probably would have rathered. He let play continue, didn't send him off, and we got the chance to continue our attacks. But Tammy's looking to turn Joe Worrell, but can't quite do it quickly enough. Joe Worrell might just have earned his side a win there by putting that challenge in. Drame into the middle. Paveda is a forward-thinking player, so they're not going to be any less... <sighs> Less vulnerable at the back. And as you can see from the time, the game's over. There might yet be time for them to score a fourth. There shouldn't be. Ref, just blow your whistle, mate. Why he lets it... Like, we're in the 90... We're in the 94th minute. When they go backwards there, just blow your whistle. 
That's stupid. Absolutely ludicrous. We're going to lose by four goals to two. And I have an issue with three, at least, of their four goals. That's a joke. It's a hat-trick for Gelhart in the end. Unbelievable. That's a farce. We don't deserve that in the slightest. Well, we'll go to the game against Watford and try and get some payback and take out our frustrations on our next opponent. But Gary Pino will get back to full fitness sooner rather than later. But that is really, really, really frustrating. We don't deserve that defeat at all. And he's a particularly jammy there. Never mind. I've ranted and raved and moaned enough about it. Let's go to the next game, shall we? Actually, let's quickly see how long Jeremy Pino's out for. Five days. Good. He'll recover then. Tarek Lamptey now 84 rated. Perfect. Transfer bid for Alonso. Perfect. Good. We tried to get Marcus Alonso out for the whole of the summer and nothing was doing. Now the team that's just beaten me has put in a bid and now Lazio are bidding for him as well. Well, I'm pleased with the sudden interest in Marcus Alonso. Why there's sudden interest in Marcus Alonso, I couldn't tell you. Uh, the shirt belongs to you, Jeremy. Uh, I've already thought about that, Octavian. And you will be the man to step in if Pino's not fit. But guess what? Pino's fit, so he starts. Sorry, mate. Watford away. 4-1, 4, -one, four -one for Watford. Maduka Okoye in goal. Ungakia, Sierra Alta, Robin Koch and Tony Lato as their back four. Uh, Maximilian Arnold in the CDM role with Conceicu on the right. Buka, Saivald and Pereira Lage on the left with Joao Pedro up top. Our former Joao Pedro, that is. Uh, sold back to Watford earlier in the save. He came to us, did a job, scored a couple of good goals. But... Unfortunately for him, wasn't good enough to hold down a starting spot, nor really had the quality to continue to be a backup option as we progressed as a club and as a team. So, unfortunately for him, he's back at Watford. But is that a free kick? No? Mm, pretty sure it went through the man to get the ball. Is Tammy onside here? Doesn't matter. He's not going to get there. I think he just two-footed the keeper in the face, though. Nil-nil after five minutes, but we might have had a goal there. And we might still get one. Tammy Abraham finds Jacob Ramsey. Lifting it, looking for Tammy, because playing it on the floor would have seen it intercepted. As it happens, playing it through the air got it intercepted as well. It's Raul Pedro out wide to Pereira Lage. Lage, okay, apparently that's how you pronounce it. He's doing his whole Bruno Fernandes thing again there. Derek Ray, lovely ball into Joao Pedro. It's completely bewildered Tarek Lamptey there. Getting out to it here with Unai Nunez, and we've turned well. Oh, but the pass out really should have found its target. Pereira Lage. Has support. Bucha, good save by Emi Martinez, but how their forward player intercepted that pass is beyond me. Unbelievable interceptions for a man that probably has about 30 out of 99 on his interception stat. Nice tackle by Jacob Ramsey, though. He's certainly very good at doing things like that, and if he can keep that run going, we'll play him in again. And Jacob Ramsey's in a very rich vein of goal-scoring form here today. And he's keeping it going. It may well be a familiar face for their number 10. But our number 10 has given us a 1-0 lead. Actually, a 0-1 lead. But regardless, we're in front. Thank you, Jacob. Consistiu. He's gotten away from me there. I thought about diving in. Decided against it. Wow. Very nearly an instant response from Watford. Post then keeper or keeper then post. I think the former. And then out for a corner. That's going to fall. Nunez gets to it. I'm just going to have to keep running here because I've got nobody to pass to. Now we have the option forward there to Jeremy Pino. He will look to get away. Unga Kia. How fast Unga Kia is, actually. Got support here, though. But back to Ramsey. Drill it. Lovely ball. Koke around the corner. Under hit from Koke. Particularly poor pass. That really expected better. Needed better. We could have made it 2-0 and really start to put Watford under a lot of pressure. We still got possession though, so we might continually be able to score that second goal. Lovely ball by Koke. Ramsey lift it, looking for oh, the man who's not going to get there. And Thomas Partey can't get to that either. Still only the one goal to nil. Oh, it's a nice ball inside. Unga Kia. Su just hit. Oof. Just hit the defender. Could have fallen anywhere. Fell straight to their striker because that apparently seems to be the way that our luck is so far today. But thankfully on this occasion, unlike Leeds, it hasn't gone in the back of the net. We keep our 1-0 lead. We're good value for it, but they could have found a cheap equaliser there. It's a lovely tackle on Thomas Partey. 
And they're actually playing quite well here, Watford. They're retaining possession, getting it back again quite well. And we're being a bit lax with the way that we're allowing them to take the ball off us. Not necessarily giving it away, but we're allowing, allowing ourselves to get tackled a little bit too easily. We'll get rid of that, thank you. Good footwork from Jeremy Pino. In there to Jacob Ramsey. And can he turn provider? Tammy provided for him in the first game. Tammy's got the strength. But not the ability to kick a football. He holds the man off and then swings next to the football. And then Callum Hudson had always won that back. And we could still score. Tuck it back. Tammy should have played the extra pass. Bollocks. Still only 1-0. How have I not scored seven goals in this game so far? Thank you. They just keep gifting it back to me, Watford. Help it on its way. Please, Jeremy. Oh, my God. What have I got to do to score a second goal in this game? Uno Nunez wins that header. Can't get to the second one. Tammy can't either. Jesus Christ. I don't understand what's happening in this game. Pereira Lage. Kick straight at Koke. Who's then very nearly run straight into a defender. Thomas Partey had to rush his pass because of the attentions of Joao Pedro there. We've ended up losing the ball. Seibald, Pereira Lage. Seibald into Joao Pedro. Amy Martinez can't hold on to it, but we will get rid of it, thankfully. It was a defender stood waiting to pick up the loose ball, not an attacker waiting to tuck it home. Koke into Tarek Lamptey. We'll get it across there to Unai Nunez, who's a long way forward, as is the defender there. Around the corner to Jeremy Pino. Now, if we can find the right ball looking for Tammy, we could be 1-0 up, but we couldn't. So, yikes, never mind, we won't be. Lato takes it in his stride very well indeed and finds a great pass to Joao Pedro. That cross is decent too. Oh, and Conceição's dummy. Oh! What is it with my rebound luck today and going against me? This is ridiculous. Firstly, the defender, rather than run to where the ball is dropping, runs an arced run around, which of course ensures that he doesn't get there. What's the, what's the run? He, oh, you can't really see it from that angle. And the, the touch is exceptional. The finish is really good. But the rebound is just so unfortunate. But what's that centre-back's run here? He's like, all he needs to do is just run directly backwards. Turn around and run where the ball is going. But he arcs left, 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 left. Then attacks the ball. By which point, I'm not getting there. Hmm. Fishy. 1-1. One, one. Starting to regret not taking any of those 17 billion chances we had in the first half. Oh, come on, Thomas Partey. The shit is that, mate. I'm just going to run straight into the opposition guy by kicking it seven yards in front of me and not getting there. Just like their guy did. How have you misplaced that pass, pal? You are having a fucking laugh. I'm aiming it at number five. It then locks on to the guy over there and plays it in between the two. 2-1 two, Watford. Oh, this feels like last season all over again, doesn't it? Fuck off. Conceição gets away from me. One option in the middle. Two if you include João Pedro that then got there. Watford have just turned up in this second half, haven't they? And to be honest, yes, they've had two BS goals. But can I be annoyed that I'm losing, having missed so many glorious opportunities in the first half? Not really. Please be onside, Tammy. Please be onside, Tammy. He's onside, Tammy. It's 2-2. I really wasn't sure. I really wasn't sure. But thankfully he is. We're level. And now we need to go and get a winner. In 19 minutes. Pereira Lage. Intercepted by Lamptey, who gets to it as well. Popescu looking to break away. Jacob Ramsey there. On forward to Thomas Partey. Driving forward. I'll look for Tammy first. Here comes Popescu. Terrible pass by Tammy. Looking forward there to Jeremy Pino. Getting a little bit lucky with my deflection now. There's Tammy. Turn. Bang it. Yes, Tammy! Screw you, Watford. 3-2 to Nottingham Forest again. In fact, not screw you, Watford. Screw you, FIFA 22 and your shitty game play. <laughs> It's a lovely one too. Lamptey's going to try and close down Seibold here. Back to Lato's kick that straight against Popescu. Thank you, mate. 
Give that to Ramsey. Quickly look for Tammy, who's absolutely knackered. And he's actually coming off sooner rather than later. But Octavio Popescu will get it to him. It could be it. But I'm just going to make sure. Not going to push needlessly for that fourth goal. Even though we're going to get it. I was just going to wait for the right opportunity. And he saw I didn't give away possession. Well, I guess we've done to Watford. No, we haven't done to Watford what Leeds did to us. Scoreline-wise, yes. But overall flow of the of the game no we've been the better side we were the better side against Leeds only this time the result actually shows that Watford don't deserve their two goals we definitely deserve all four of ours now I see Jacob Ramsey at the back post but never mind the cross isn't going to find him but we will get the win and the three points and some form of payback for that last result Bustos can he get away yes he can the shot is well blocked but that'll be game come on ref Thank you. Referee actually blows the whistle when the allotted time is up. Who would have thought it, eh? 4-2, we win. Right then. Up next for us was Norwich, who obviously have been having a great season so far. I didn't see how they got on in the first match day today. And we're not going to see how they got on in the second match day either. But hopefully they've had a little bit of a fumble in form. And we can get ourselves right back up the table. Really frustrating with that Leeds defeat. And I said I wanted to take it out on Watford, and we have done, but I'll be honest, for a time, I thought Watford were going to take it out on me. We got the result we deserved in the end. Absolutely we did. Let's go and get another one against Norwich, shall we please? Who are now actually right above us in 8th in the table. We are at ninth, having played 11. Evidently, uh, Leeds and West Ham could go above us, but we're on 15, and we're only 3 points off 5th and 4 points off 4th, so... The season is still very much coming alive. And it would be more alive if I hadn't lost the game to Leeds in quite such a fashion. But never mind. Jeremy Pino now up to 85 rated, which is fantastic. And he's very thankful for that as well. But he definitely felt ready. It was the right decision, wasn't it? Absolutely. He went to plan, my friend. Thank you very much, Jeremy Pino. Now, if you could do that again against Norris, that'd be lovely. Transfer talks between Marcus Alonso and Leeds have broken down. I presume that means because he's going to go to Lazio. But that's not a sale that's been confirmed yet. Until now, Marcus Alonso goes to Lazio for £4.8 million. 3.8 which have been added to my budget. So we do have a relatively decent budget, actually. Probably between 40 and 45, depending on the calibre of play we go for and the sort of wages that said player might well be on we could definitely improve the squad and i'll be honest i really might genuinely look for that guy from osasuna briganza if i bring him in in place of koke who's we're going to move on next year now that he's been solid for a season but we don't want to keep him here too long term because he'll just start to decline sooner rather than later let's bring briganza in for koke maybe we can do that in january and we'll be sorted moving forward for next year I hope so. Anyway, up next, Norwich. 4-5-1 for Norwich. This is the side that's been, quite frankly, overachieving this season. Angus Gunn in goal. Maru sits at right back. Hanley, Romalio and Sam McCallum at left wing back. We know Sam McCallum's decent from previous saves. Isaac Hayden in the midfield as well as uh, Thiago Dantas and Kieran Dell. Then Christos Solis on the left and Todd Cantwell on the right with Brenner up top. Couple of changes for me. Mongola into the starting lineup for Thomas Partey and Nia Karte in for uh, Unai Nunez. But other than that, we are at full strength. Cantwell on an early run. Cantwell on an early retreat. Although, Brenner could save Emmy. Might have been going over actually from Brenner that. We used Brenner in a previous save, didn't we? I'm pretty sure. And he was actually decent for us. Was it Mallorca last year? You guys will remember better than I do. But he was definitely worth it at the time, I think. He was pretty decent for us, Brenner. I think we ended up selling him on to a bigger club. As we obviously have to do at times. Oh, if I'd have played that early to Tammy, I might have just been able to get it to him while he was onside. Jeremy Pino will look for Jacob Ramsey. And there's Tammy. Hold. Oh, I was hoping he'd hold him off. Mongol wins the head of Will. Ramsey, Koke, here's Callum hudson Adoy, and there should have been a 1-0 lead. How he's not buried that, I am not sure. He scored some wonderful goals for us, Callum hudson Adoy. That should have been one of the simple ones for him. 
again, as was the case against Watford, wasting good opportunities and not taking them. Mongola Thierry Pino through there looking for Tammy, finding him well, looking for Jacob Ramsey, who's in. He won't waste it, will he? No, he bloody won't. 1 0 Forrest, get in. Solis. I read that. Tarek Lamptey stepped in nicely. Hudson Adoy to Koke. Jacob Ramsey. Mongola. We'll slow it up a little bit. It's not rushing it forward, is that? Mongola. Jacob Ramsey. Mongola got crunched there. There's Koke. I have to go backwards or sideways because there isn't really the option. Jeremy Pino. Jacob Ramsey. Saw the defender commit. Thought we could find the space. Oh! Find it, he did. Find the goal. Well, he didn't. Wider the target and no surprises. A yellow card for Brenner, though. It took a deflection, did it? I didn't realise that. Keeper thought about coming, didn't. Niakate jumped for it and, well, it couldn't have been further away, really, could it? Empty with a big switch. And it's a decent one, too. And Mikolenko gets there. Yuri Pino looking for Jacob Ramsey. Here comes Koke. Here's Kalamatsu Nadoi. Dink it. Oh, just too much on it. We'll recover it, though. Mongol will find Koke. We'll wind up for the long shot this time. But it's pretty straightforward for Angus Gunn to get on the end of. Nierkate should win that. He did. He's just headed it straight to Kieran Dale. But Kieran Dale's kicked it straight to my guy, so I'm not going to complain too much. Oh, I thought about trying to get that through to Jacob Ramsey there, but certainly it wasn't an option. And Sam McCallum's read that so comfortably. How he knew where Tammy was, I'm not sure, but he knew where to step to try and get the interception in. Mongol has done that well. Mongol out to Mikolenko. Yeri Pino's on the run. And Jacob Ramsey's there. And Tammy's through that gap. Tammy out your feet quickly because there are defenders coming. Good save by Angus Gunn. No second goal, but we're not far away. And Tammy could win this, but never mind. The keeper's going to come and get it. Still 1-0. Certainly, we weren't that comfortable at 1-0 against Watford in the end. So, we won't be that comfortable with 1-0 against Norwich either. I feel like we're probably going to need multiple goals again, don't you? Defending hasn't been my strong suit today for some reason. Not been putting in the performances I really should be. Isaac Hayden, man in the middle, is on his ass, Brenner. But they've earned a corner here in stoppage time. Now, are they going to do to us what Leeds did to us as well? If I clear it, you should blow your whistle if he's going to win the header. You just tell sometimes, can't you? Thankfully, he's put it over the bar, otherwise it would have been level at the break. But it's not. We go in in front. Oh, Solis has done me there. I thought he was going to go inside, but I should have known that he's got that turn of pace to get away down the wing with. He's crossed it to absolutely no one, though. And Neocarte will get rid of it. Sure. Yep. That's where that was supposed to go, isn't it? Kieran Dow with the turn. Brenner, wait for the goal. Wait for it. Pen, maybe. He has. He played advantage. But he has given a penalty for the foul from Tarek Lamptey. I did catch him. It's very, very rare. You see referees play advantage for a penalty. They normally just give it. But Tarek Lamptey... Oh, it's just the poor timing of the tackle for me, isn't it? He stepped in, taking him out. It's absolutely a spot kick. And Brenner has it saved by Emmy Martinez. That big six-foot-five frame working wonders in between the sticks again. Sam McCallum with the delivery. Away by Callum hudson Adoy. Can't say justice done because it was a stone waller, really, wasn't it? Definite penalty for Norwich there. But they've given it away now. And Yerim Pino will look to play the ball forward. And we could catch them on the counter from their penalty. And maybe punish them. Looking for Ramsey again. Callum hudson Adoy is still there. Here comes Sam McCallum. Going to have to slow up and go backwards, unfortunately. But still we've got possession. Still we could get that next goal. I'll look for Tammy quickly here. Who will turn and draw a good save from Angus Garn. I was looking for the near post. The same way he scored that next one in the last game. Come on then. Tammy on the end of this. No. Oh, keeper's come. He's half got there. Nia Karte across. Hudson Adoy. Win that, please. Koke. I see Jacob Ramsey over here. Out of his feet. Jacob Ramsey. He just can't shoot from distance, can he, Jacob Ramsey? I've seen a couple of comments of people saying on the other occasion, you're in space with a player on the edge of the box. Shoot with them. Nine times out of ten, it's Jacob Ramsey. And nine times out of ten, that's the sort of finish I get, which is why I go for the extra pass and don't try and shoot from distance because quite frankly he's not got it in him Tarek Lamptey Koke to Mongola quickly looking for Tammy oh Jacob Ramsey at the minute can't stop scoring can he the man of the episode 
Jacob Ramsey today. It was perfect hat-trick for Tammy Abraham yesterday. Today, he's passed the gauntlet over to Jacob Ramsey. He might not have gotten, he might not have gotten a hat-trick so far today. But he and Tammy Abraham have built quite the relationship, haven't they? I think the majority of Jacob Ramsey's goals in this episode today have been assisted by Big Tams up top. I'll have a look at the stats at the end of the episode to see how many assists Tammy has for the season now. But certainly it's taken a big jump. Oh, I was supposed to go short. Certainly it's taken a big jump in today's video. I'm sure of it. Got the game against Brighton to simulate to come next as well. And hopefully we can add to our points haul for the day there too. But 2 0 up now, and that should be us done and dusted for this game. Tammy Abraham will look for Jacob Ramsey, and Callum Hudson Odoi is there, and this time, surely, though he's forced a bit wide. He's turning side well, though, probably should have passed that. Never mind. Still 2 0, 12 minutes to go. We should get the win here. Nearly intercepted. Dantas trying to rescue something or help rescue something for Norwich here. Maru sits over the top. Volley first time. Gay just gets to it first. Would have been a hell of a finish. Three changes, triple swap for me to try and maintain the lead we've got. Salcedo on, Bustos on, and Omar Richards on. Mongola is the one that steps in there, though. Here's Eddie Salcedo. Oh, and if I could have played that ball through, Jeremy Pino would have been in. Is he onside? I'm not sure if he is. He might well be. Oh! I completely did myself there. What even was that? I just wanted a simple step over and a turn inside. I don't even know what he's done. He stepped over and then done a Maradona t spin on the end of it. I didn't even know that was a thing. It's kind of not what I wanted. And it probably has actually hindered him in the chance of scoring the goal. But we didn't need it in the end. And we do get a 2-0 victory against Norwich. So we will take that very happily indeed. And power through to the Sim against Brighton. Another set of three points picked up. Another set of three points thoroughly deserved. And we should even though it's away against Brighton, pick up another set of maximum points in the next game. Another phenomenal 90 minutes for Jacob Ramsey. Morale is high, and our league position continues to get higher and higher as well. We've been so much better this year than we were last year. We've still had some of the bad luck, as you've seen in that Leeds game, but still very, very pleased. Tammy's got seven goals and three assists now, and I think all three came today. Jacob Ramsey now with six goals, seven assists, having a wonderful season at camp. Just brilliant. Eddie Salcedo's got four goals in five games as well, although two goals and an assist have come in the Carabao Cup. Hudson Adoy with three, could have added to that today. Coco with two, he's not scored for a little while. So let's go to that game against Brighton. Quickly, Simit, we are, however, up to seventh. We said our league position was getting higher and higher. We are three points off a Europa League spot. The board want top four. So we're going to have to make sure that we continue to keep this run of form going and actually break into the top four rather than just settle for the secondary European... Oh, ow, bang my knee. The secondary European prize in the uh, European competition stakes. Actually, for a sim, I might take Mangala out and put... Thomas Partey back in as a higher rated player. That will probably fare us better. Right. Brighton then to end. I think I just knocked my PlayStation 5. Nearly over then when I need the table. Uh, Brighton away. Should be three points. And is. And of course, who scores the late winner? Jacob Ramsey. Man of the moment. Not just man of the match. Man of the month. Player of the month. Absolute storming episode for us and for Jacob Ramsey. And if we had been able to get victory against Leeds in that game where I felt particularly hard done by, then we would have been on the fringes of the top four. We'd have been on 24 points and a point off Arsenal. In December, we have six games, so that'll be split into two. And then we'll be heading into the January transfer window where things will get pretty spicy again, I imagine. But we certainly now are in a position to be able to turn down bids from big clubs for our best players. Because we're on a very good run of form, and hopefully with a strong December as well, we're going to be challenging at the top end of the table, and I'm going to be bullish in this transfer window. Having been enforced into a number of changes in the summer, I'm not going to do that again in January. We crack on then tomorrow with another one.
Drop the video a like if you've enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more. Join me on Twitch. Link in the description down below. Come watch these live as well. And I'll see you next time.